This guy's watching me eat my milkshake. He's smiling. We got the whole parking lot to ourselves. Here we go. Don't let me eat all of this. Don't act like we don't cross contaminate all the time. Oh Cherry chocolate. Yo. <laughs> If you don't follow me on TikTok or my vlog channel, you would not know that Cal and I came to Birmingham, Alabama for Matt King and Patricia's wedding. It was last night. I am honestly doing very well, except for the fact that I didn't get much sleep considering I kept drinking vodka Red Bulls at the club last night, or this morning rather, thinking it would keep me going. It didn't. It only kept me awake while I got home and laid in bed. So I'm a little sleep deprived, but other than that, I'm feeling good. Cal, on the other hand, how are you feeling, love? Unwell. Unwell. Cal had a wonderful night. Let's insert some footage of everything in here. Hi guys, we just left Matt and Patricia's wedding. It is currently, what's the time, love? 1.45. It is 1.45 a.m. We're at Cookout. This is our third night in a row here. So far, I've tried quesadillas, burger, the chicken wrap, hush puppies, banana chocolate milkshake, and a peach cobbler milkshake, all of which have been amazing. Cal has been overserved at the wedding. He had himself a very good time. Also, a car is flipped over there. I think everybody's okay. A lot of things are happening at the cookout tonight, including Cal being very well. What? I think I'm gonna do a BLT. Maybe a BLT onion rings, more hush puppies because hush puppies are amazing. So yes, while I was here, I wanted to do a main channel video for you guys because I love going to new places and trying fast food chains that I otherwise could not try in California where I was born and raised. Cal and I, when we visited his family in Minnesota, did a Culver's drive through mukbang and you guys loved that. Cal was born and raised in the South and since the day we met on our first date, he has nonstop talked about fast food chains in the South that I had not tried before. One of which being Bojangles, second of which being his favorite ever called Cook. Out. So throughout this whole trip, we've gone so many times already. I am obsessed with both. I think I need to move to the South solely for these two establishments. And it's our last day. We're leaving tonight. And I thought that I would take you guys along with us for a little mukbang at Bojangles and Cookout. So yes, are you excited, Cal? I'm so excited. I know I don't sound like it, but that's because I'm not well. He's trying his best. And that's all we can ask for. But first up, we're going to Bojangles. We're road tripping back to Atlanta. So let's get to it, shall we? Also go check out my TikToks and my vlog channel if you haven't already posted tons of content there let's go what is freddy's steak burgers wait that sounds good too I do love me a burger bo dangles what time is it cal it's bow time all the food here has been so amazing but i need a vegetable and a fruit as soon as we get back home thank you for the bow dangles our system is down it's gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes okay okay do you want to go to the Freddy's place? Yeah, should we go around and come back? We'll be back. Slight bump in our plan. It's not bow time. I just want to try this burger. I have to give my review on everything here. I am raving. Excuse me? I am ravenous. I wanted to eat last night, like late last night, grilled cheese steak burger, but we couldn't get food. So, I mean, two meals worthy right now. <gasps> Pretzel bacon steak burger. Oh my God. God. Four slices of cheese. Okay, maybe I won't do that. Damn, it's too these much. Burgers look good. Yeah, let's try a patty melt. Make the combo with fries, onion like rings, or cheese curds. Cheese curds, please. An original double, just the burger. Mini concrete, please. Sprinkles. With sprinkles. And hot fudge. And hot fudge. Can I have the cream and cherry on top? Yes. All right, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Oh, I should have added more things onto the burger. Perfect. By the time we finish our appetizer, Bojangles will be ready. Don't let me eat all of this. <laughs> Are you okay? No. Do you want another liquid? Would I be? I'll have one later. Let's rate the Dr. Pepper at Freddy's. Have you ever heard of Freddy's before? I've never heard of this place before. It looks very neat inside. Ooh, this might bring you back to life, honestly. It's perfectly carbonated, not too sweet. Oh, I think it's the gum that's make, making it not taste good. This is just Cal being miserable for 12 minutes straight. Perhaps this should just be a me mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. Ooh, 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 energy. Imagine being so hungry for Bojangles that you're willing to sit in that drive-thru. We would have. If this wasn't here, we would have done that. You're right. <laughs> we got the good. While I do like fried chicken and Bojangles has been amazing, I am a burger girl through and through. We got the whole parking lot to ourselves. Here we go. <laughs> We've got our cheese, oh my God, feel how hot they are. Hot, oh, piping correct. cheese curds. Be careful, you gotta show the vlog first. They gotta eat before we yeah, do. Yeah, you gotta do them while they're hot. 
Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. These are actually really good. Mmm. They're even, like, stringy and pulley. Usually, they're not. I feel like they get cold really fast. I know I say this about everything. These might be the best fast food cheese curds I've had. You look, like, massive on camera. Whose fault is that? Your parents. If you don't know what a cheese curd is, it is a cheese curd. Actually, I don't know what it is. Similar to like cottage cheese, like those little curds. It's from mozzarella, I believe. Or maybe cheddar. I don't know. And then they bread them and fry them and they are fantastic. Mmm. Here's our patty melt. And then here's our regular cheeseburger. I am a patty melt girl. Oh, also through and through. I believe this is like maybe a sourdough bread of some sort. Grilled onions, cheese, and meat patties. Oh, I want this one. Look at this smash burger. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That is greasy. Mm -hmm. I wish there was one of these in LA. I would go all the time. And it's raining outside. It's setting the moon. Mmm. That's fire. Mm hmm Okay, next up, the burger. Wow. Oh, they put mustard on it. Damn it. Damn. I don't like mustard on my burger, but that's okay. Here is the meat. It's a nice smash burger, cheese. All that's on here is mustard, cheese, and meat. I don't know how good it's gonna <laughs> be. You wanna bite at the same time? <laughs> Lady okay. in the tramp stuff. <laughs> mm. Their meat is a little salty, but the bun is fantastic. Super soft. It's actually like one of the better fast food burgers I've had. That's good. Wow. That is really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bun like melts in your mouth. Wow. It's really good. All right, rating. I give the cheese curds a, honestly, 10 out of 10. Oh, my stomach. I'm going to say 7 out of 10 for the cheese curds. Mm. For sure. 7? Mm -hmm. What? Crazy. These are not the best cheese curds you've ever had from a drive thru I'm just rating as a cheese curd. Mm. 7 out of 10 is a good score. Okay. What are we saying over I here? I give it a 10 out of 10. Patty melt, I give 6.5 out of 10. It was good, but room for improvement. Burger gets a 9 out of 10 from me. 8.5, actually. I'm being a little generous. I am not a big patty melt person, so mm -hmm. the patty melt was not good for me. But the burger was really good. Now for dessert, we're going to try concrete. This is vanilla because they didn't have chocolate with sprinkles, hot fudge, whipped cream cherry. Let's get a good bite. Truly amazing. I have no other words. Would you like to try? It's just ice cream, but it's really good. It is just ice cream, but it is good. I am trying to talk, and it's just not working. <laughs> Ice cream, 8 out of 10. Let's go to Bojangles. Honestly, I just want to finish the burger, but let's go to Bojangles. It's bow time. Bow time. One Cajun flight biscuit combo with bow fries and two bowberry biscuits. A four-piece chicken supreme. Chicken supreme. With honey mustard. With honey mustard and an order of potato rounds. Oh, I'll do a regular sweet tea. You have the bowberry biscuits, right? No, sir, we don't have either ready at the moment. Oh. Uh, okay. This is our third time going to Bojangles on this trip, and only one time do they have bowberry biscuits. It's like the whole reason you go to Bojangles. The bowberry biscuit. Here I go. Me. <laughs> oh. The first time we came here, I thought it was good, not amazing, but then on TikTok, everybody told me that I ordered wrong and that I need to get the Supremes with the honey mustard, and I've yet to try the sweet tea, and everybody keeps saying the sweet tea is amazing. So I'm excited to try. Guys, I'm gonna put Cal out of his misery and not make him film anymore because poor thing is struggling. He's going to the bathroom. But I got my sweet tea. It's bow time. It's called the Legendary Iced Tea. I had so many people, every comment saying, I need to try their sweet tea. I will say I'm not like a super sweet iced tea fan. I love unsweet iced tea tea but oh my god it's really good it's just pure sugar i think i would like this if it was like half and half of like unsweet and sweet but i can see why people like it it is just candy it's bow time bow jangles hall cow's fries Ooh, they're hot and fresh whoa that's a big wow. fry okay i got a lot of comments from people saying if bow jangles isn't fresh it's not good but when it's fresh it's amazing and for the first time we have fresh fries wow mm. okay it's so much better than the fry we got a couple days ago wow these are great mm. i love the seasoning on bow jangles fries that tastes like a mcdonald's <laughs> fry but with seasoning on it and i like that it's flat and thin versus like a skinny fry i love a steak fry wow these give me life a full run. Cal wants to be in the video, everybody. Mmm, very good. Want to share with the class? The Cajun filet oh, biscuit. Fine. Best thing ever. So you would get this in college? Man. Yes. Ooh. Every time I was hungover, I would drive on to Bojangles. Wow, I'm too full to keep eating. I can't do these mukbangs anymore. Uh -huh. Here's my box, Bojangles. As I told you guys, I ordered this solely because everybody on TikTok told me to, and by God, they were right. They are, and again, I know I say this a lot, but I mean this, and Cal and I agree. The best chicken tenders we've ever tried in a drive through They were actually unreal. So your box comes with a biscuit, not a bowberry, a regular. Mm -hmm. I ordered the potato rounds, which are, I can already tell, not super fresh. So they're not going to be as good as those fries. They are hash browns that are big. They're like the size of a silver dollar. They have onion in them. So it's like an onion potato-y delicious mix. Mmm. Hash brown. Good. <coughs> are you okay? 
I'm good. I think I just have too much fun in my lungs right now. These are super good. They're not as like crispy crunchy as like a Chick-fil-A or like a McDonald's, but it's still good. The most important part, the chicken supreme. We got a chicken tender and everybody specified the honey mustard and it truly is such good honey mustard. Mm. It's got like more of an orangey color. We gotta do a dip dip. Oh my God. They're so good. Mm. Honestly, like one of the best chicken tenders I've ever had. It's the juiciest, succulent, most amazing chicken tender I've ever had. There's like a little flavor on the outside. Not much though. You really just taste the sauce with like a little kick in the back of the throat. I'm honestly too full for this, but it's so good. And they're just all like so crunchy. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I'm gonna save the rest of this food for the road trip. That wraps up our mid-morning mukbang. Sorry, that was so painful, but the food was amazing. <laughs> and we'll catch you guys later when we go grab dinner before we leave. Why was that painful? Is it because I'm painful? No, because you're in pain. That's why. <laughs> That's why. What'd you say? I'm better now. After you got your biscuit? Mm-hmm. It's dinner time! Hello guys, okay, checking in again for the mukbang video. We made it to Atlanta, met up with my best friend Steph and got to see her babies. And now we are going to the airport in a couple hours. We wanted to have some dinner before then. And where are we, love? We are at Cookout. This is Cal's favorite fast food chain to ever exist. Would you put it in like maybe your top restaurants ever? This is my top restaurant of all time. Of all time? Oh, yeah. Not just fast food? Anything. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, oh, Black Cat across the street. But yes, they are known for having so many options at a really good price. And I think they're really known for the milkshakes, right? Milkshakes, good burgers, good hot dogs. Just good food. Just good everything. For really cheap. We're here. One regular burger cookout tray with cheese, lettuce, tomato, and a ranch chicken wrap. And a Oreo mint milkshake, please. Can I do a junior tray with two corn dogs, hush puppies? A two corn dog junior tray with hush puppies. A walk and taco. A walk and taco. And a cherry chocolate chip milkshake. All right, thank you. We got it. All right, cookout mukbang. Sorry, it's a little bit dark right now. It's 7 p.m., but we have our food here and the tray Trays smell amazing. Let's see, oh my God. All this food for like six bucks is crazy. Oh, the chicken wrap is a bit small today. Cheese fries. And the burger. Oh my God, that looks so good. Here's what I got. I actually got a bunch of stuff that I haven't tried yet. I did try the hush puppies and they were so good that I had to get them again. But hush puppies, I haven't tried their corn dog and I have not tried a walk-in taco and we need to give this a try. Also, everybody said that we needed to try cookout sauce and Cal asked every time we went in Alabama and they never had it so we got it now what is it like a thousand island i don't know it's like a mishmash of things mm. i just i like it it's just it got good flavor oh interesting it kind of smells like cane sauce actually i haven't tried their cheese fries either oh my god it's good and the cheese fries are bomb too the cheese is so melty mm -hmm. that's yours i'm gonna be honest we've eaten so much today i'm really not that hungry but i want to try the things for you guys here we go starting with the hush puppy which looks like a mini corn dog Mmm. -hmm. Oh my god. Hush puppies are so good. They kind of remind me, this is my first trip that I've had hush puppies on, like the outside of a corn dog. So maybe I should have mixed it up a bit more, but they're just so good. Mmm. -hmm. Next corn dog. Oh, hot. Damn. That's a good corn dog. I feel like their fried stuff, they fried it a little bit too long. It's a little more burnty than I would like on both the hush puppies and the corn dog, but that's okay. It's still delicious. And the hot dog, might I add, very snappy, very delicious. Want to try? It's honestly a good corn Dog. I'm not a corn dog man myself. What? I don't think I've ever tried this before. I've seen it at parties when they lay these out. It's a bag of like Fritos, or I guess they do Doritos here, and then they've taped it shut, and then on the inside, it looks like this. They've crushed up Doritos and then added some stuff inside. Whoa. I mean, it can't not be good. You know what it kind of is? It's just like a Doritos Locos Taco in a bag. Ooh, okay, we got chips, we got meat, we got some lettuce, cheese, and some sour cream. It's actually really, it. really good. Kind of has more of like a chili flavor. It's good. I dig that. It's one of those things that you can't let it sit for too long because then it'll get soggy. But while the chips are crunchy, it's good. I like it a lot more than I thought that I would, to be honest. And then last but not least, the most exciting part of our meals. For $1.60, you get a giant milkshake, which honestly, this could last me like a week in the freezer of like thawing and eating and then freezing and then thawing and eating and freezing. And everybody told me that you can't eat this with a straw. You have to eat it with a spoon. From my three nights of trying these, I I tried the peach cobbler first, which was really good. Then I did the banana chocolate, which was really good. And then we have cherry chocolate. <gasps> it's like a blizzard consistency. Wait, you think I can do the Dairy Queen don't, thing? Don't do, it, don't do it, don't do it. Come on. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. 
gone. Oh, this guy's watching me eat my milkshake. He's smiling. Oh my God, it's so good. So this one like doesn't have that much cherry flavor, but I like it because it's very subtle. Mm. Can I try yours? Yeah. Cal gets this one every time. Someone commented on the TikTok that you get the right one. <gasps> also, their chocolate chips are like shavings. Wow. I think the food is good. This is worth coming over and over and over again. This is crazy. Oreo mint is Cal's choice. It's a really pretty minty color. Wow. Just like two whole Oreos right there. For $1.60. Mm -hmm. I can't get over it. Oh my God. It tastes like an Andes mint that you get at Olive Garden. No, you know what it tastes like? A thin mint that is identical to a thin mint because of the cookie. I think I would try the next time I come to the South, cherry chocolate mint. That sounds like it'd be really good. That would be good. pretty good, yeah. Or I could just do it right now. I double wow. dipped. You cherry. cross contaminated. Don't act like we don't cross contaminate all the time. Oh my God. Cherry chocolate mint Oreo. Yo. <laughs> it's so good. Will you try it? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. All right, guys, on that note, we're going to sit here and eat our ice cream in silence for the next hour and then head over to the airport. Hope you enjoyed our little fast food mukbang. Tomorrow, we're going to be eating only vegetables and fruit and fiber and do that for the next week to combat all of the fried things and ice cream we've had. But life is all about balance. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you want to check out my vlogs or my TikTok, go do so because there is a lot of content being posted. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.